What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of my GT6 Let's Play. Now, um, I haven't really been doing that many Let's Play episodes lately and I was like, what's up with that? I want to do more Let's Play episodes because I enjoy doing them I, and I think you guys enjoy them uh, too. So, we're going to get back to the career mode and... Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through this, some of the A-class stuff, getting closer to our uh, our next license. And I'm thinking that I want to do some of the Turbo Sports series. Now, I don't know if the FT1 will be eligible, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, 550 or less. Entry accepted is 544. Okay, that's good. That's really close. All right, cool. Let's do this then. I actually have, I have actually never raced the FT1 on a grid with other cars before. Like, I've never actually... Um, Taking it up against an actual grid of cars. So this should be pretty fun. I've only driven it um, by itself, like in an isolated state on tracks. And I've actually never been to this track before either. So um, what kind of cars are we up against? S14, Skylines, 300 Z ZXs. Okay, yeah. Evos. I think the Evos are going to be our biggest competition. Um, and a lot of the others are probably not going to be that much, that much competition, actually, for the FT1. I mean, considering the fact that the FT1 is kind of, it's kind of in the range of, like, high-end sports car bordering on supercar. It's kind of that in-between range where it's kind of like a borderline sports car, if you guys get what I mean. It's not like, it's, I wouldn't, not sports car, borderline supercar, sorry, borderline supercar. I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't say it's up there as in a supercar with, like, say, the Lexus LFA, like, in terms of performance, but, I mean, we are just flying past these dudes right now. Oh god, oh god, okay. Get uh, Ah Get yourself back together! Jeez! Alright, power up the hill. Oh god. There's that S14 that we saw. Power up. goodbye, Mr. S14. Oh god, oh god, oh god, come on! There's the back end gone again. What the hell is that? the hell is that and why is it in this race I have no idea it looks like a freaking people carrier uh! oh geez come on stick it into the quarter coming up with a Supra later oh no 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 okay yeah if it's if it's evident I just kind of came from uh, <laughs> came from Forza to this well not Forza actually um I was actually playing some PC games, um, but I haven't played GT. I think I've in like maybe two days. I've taken a couple days off from GT, and this is my literally my first time driving anything in GT uh, in that time. So that's kind of uh, screwing with my driving a bit. We can get it back. Oh, maybe we can't. Locked him. I locked the brakes. Dang, this first race is sloppy. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get this race back. Let's just say that. Hopefully, we'll be able to get this race back and then hopefully the next race after this one will be a lot smoother uh than this one because that first lap was shit so much better come on power out power up the hill wow we're sitting in second already dang surprised down to third balance it balance it balance it not gonna go up to fourth Hello, Mr. Evo. Goodbye, Mr. Evo. Oh, God, I did not mean to change view. Ugh, that's not a view I'm used to. There we go. Much better. Much better. Oh, jeez. Oh, keep it. Thank you. Oh, this is that same corner. That's that same corner. I was, oh, whoo, power came on and I wasn't ready. I was not going off the track though. I was like, I was like, there is no way I'm going off the track here. I am gonna try my absolute hardest to keep this thing planted. No way I'm letting it go. Oh, that one creeps up on you. I don't have the racing line on. Crap. Damn it! Come on. Crap, I meant to look back. There, that's how you look back. My controller layout is a bit let's just let's just say different. Than the normal one, I modified it a little bit, and I'm thinking that it's not exactly the best setup, but I'm slowly warming back up again. Keep in mind, like I said, this is my warm-up race. Um, we did manage to get first, but it was very messy. Very messy. So, um, 
yeah, hopefully the next one after that won't be that messy. And also, that was the first time I've ever been on that track, so... I mean, going on a track you've never been on before, and having it be your warm-up race, is never, ever, ever a good recipe. Ever. Three stars, thank you. Alrighty then. Where are we going next? So we got two choice. What the heck? No, I do not want to restart. No, 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 no. I hate how they put that button there. God, I hate how they put that button there. Exit. Thank you. Damn. Anyway, um, we got we bleh, we have two tracks to choose from. So let's see. We got Trial Mountain and Spa Frankershamps. I love Spa Frankershamps, and I know it. So. I'm going to save Spa Frankershamps for last, and we're going to go to Trial Mountain. And I don't think I've ever been to Trial Mountain before either, so a lot of the tracks in this series are ones that I have never been to before. So, hopefully this doesn't go as badly <laughs> as the last one did. Even though I got first on the last one, I'm not going to count it as a brilliant race. So, let's see. Ooh, we've got RX-7 in here. We've got a 97... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We've got a 97 Super RZ. And a Lotus Esprit V8. Yeah, our competition's a little bit, um, little bit more formidable this time. Let's just say that. Our competition is a little bit more formidable this time. Considering the fact that last time we were up against the previous generation Supra. Now we're at, actually, this is actually going to be a pretty interesting race because of the fact that the FT1 is like the next Supra and it's racing against the Supra that everybody loves, you know, it's the most popular Supra, the 97 RZ, and I think it's a pretty cool race, actually. If it would load, that'd be nice. <laughs> that'd be quite nice, actually. Come on, there, there you go. There you go. Alright, let's do this. No, not that. The race. Alright, there we go. I was able to figure out how to skip it somehow. Sylvia. Volvo coming up on a Volvo. <laughs> Guys, they got a Volvo. Run for. Whoa! Oh god, that Volvo just did a. <laughs> that Volvo just did a freaking stoppy. Is that. What I think I'm seeing? Is that a. A. Ha Whoa! Oh, that a Honda. Uh, no, never mind. Okay, from back here, that looked like a Honda Odyssey from the back. That was weird. Um, or at least the U.S. version of the Honda Odyssey. That was weird. It doesn't look like it from the front. From the back, it looked... That was, like, seriously close. I'll, I'm kind of glad that that's not what I thought it was. So, dang, that was crazy. Because I would not expect to see that on the track. Because I don't think it would be that good on the track, to be honest. I remember racing this track in Gran Turismo 4, I believe. Ooh! And I remember crashing right there in Gran Turismo 4 as well. I miss my racing line. I really do. I really miss it. Sorry, Lotus. Oh my god, let me by. We got two laps, and I'm in fifth right now. Got a couple places we need to make up. Well, more than a couple. But once we get past, once we get past these next two guys, we can focus on the leaders. Ooh, that might have been a bit too hot. Oh, that was way too hot. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that's bad. We're gonna have to restart that. That was not good at all. <laughs> We're gonna have to avoid that um, that outcome on that corner. Well, avoid that outcome on any corner. Not just that one. Dang, there's that understeer. God! That's weird how this car is like either, it's either understeer or a boot full of oversteer. 
Although the gear changes are nice. I mean, the gear ratios are nicely spaced. I like the way they're spaced. It's just the only thing is that understeer bugs me sometimes. Yes, it's got the power on these guys on the straights, though. Oh, there goes the tail. Uh. At least we didn't go way too wide on that corner. But the weird thing about it is that this thing is a little bit twitchy, so it's kind of hard to control when the tail goes. I mean, it's controllable, but it's nowhere near as controllable as the BMW M4 is. Oh! Oh! And that wasn't a Lotus. That was an Opal. I just realized that. I called it a Lotus the last time around. Dang, he took that. He snatched that spot. I messed it up, and he was like, oh, I'm going in. Far, much farther inside than last time. I do not want to hit that hill. Absolutely not. Final lap. I have a few places to make up, but I think we might have a chance here, actually. gentle with the throttle in these corners I see the Supra it's right in front of the FD dang FD versus Supra oh! are you kidding oh my god jeez I will admit I feel sometimes like Forza has spoiled me with the rewind system because there are times when I want to do it. There are times when I want to use it, and it's not there. And I feel like I feel like Forza has spoiled me with that. I still might have time to catch these dudes, though. If I really push, I still might have time to catch these dudes. Come on, FT1. Yes. Yes, yes, come on. There we go. That is second. Oh, man, closing in. I really want this win. I really want this. Hello, Mr. Esprit V8. I'd like first place, please. Thank you very much. Third gear corner. Yeah, 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 it's a third gear corner. Last time I took it in second, I think. And second is way too low for that corner. As long as we don't flip here, we'll be fine. As long as we don't flip. And we didn't flip. Thank you. Nearly there and across the line for a win. That was a pretty crazy race. I did not expect to flip that one time. That was, um, that was intense. Um, I know, I feel like th these first two tracks, I didn't really know them at all. Like, well, one track I'd never been on and the other track I hadn't been on in, like, Oh, I want to say six or seven years. So, the next track, though, I know. Spa Frankershamps, I know the track. Um, shouldn't have anywhere near as many issues uh, with that track as I did with uh, the first two. Because, like I said, I know the track, or at least I know it from Forza. And I should be able to translate that over to Gran Turismo as long as the track isn't too different. But there's not that much to be different, to be honest, in, on Spa Frankershamps. Or at least I wouldn't think there would be. But who knows? <laughs> who knows? There might end up being differences. Because there obviously, you know, there's going to be differences in the physics and the way they modeled the track. But like I said, the layout, it's going to be there. The layout is going to be the same. So, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's see. We got a little bit of a different lineup. The, uh, the Mark IV Supra is gone, which is kind of odd. I feel like they'd keep that one in. Um, the FD is still here. Dang, why'd they get rid of the Mark IV Supra just from the from the grid? I, dang, that makes no sense to me. Why would you take that thing off the grid? I mean, I I I, I guess you you would want to switch up the grid every time, but seriously though, that car that car should be on like every grid in this class. It's an icon. There we go. I was like, what's with that black screen? Come on and break! Super slow corner. <laughs> Super slow corner. Power out. We were getting a little bit of wheel spin on the exit, but we're good. Excuse me, 
Mr. Silica. Is that Mark III Supra? Oh, power it up. Yes! Oh, I feel at home here. Now I'm on this track. A track that I know I feel at home here. Show me the power on the straight. Come on, FT1. Never actually maxed this thing. But it's not bad on the straight. That's for sure. Come on, there we go. Uh-oh. Oh. That Lexus cut us off. At least I think it's a Lexus. At least in the U.S. it's a Lexus. I mean, it might be... You know, as far as JDM goes, I mean, it's a Toyota, but... Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Easy now! Hit me from behind! Oh, jeez. Get a little squirrely out of the corner. Ugh! Go, 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 go! Oh, God, I locked him up a little bit. Not too much, but... A little bit. Oh, come on, stop going. I was like, it's starting to go all over the place. Halfway through the field. Right in the rumble strip, just a little bit. Powering out. Alright, time to chase these guys down. They're pretty closely grouped together, which is good. All right, time to take the Scirocco R. Scirocco R definitely doesn't have anything on us on the straights. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Scirocco R. And McGann RS. 300ZX is up next. And then that FD. 300ZX is done. Oh, God. Oh, I am so sorry, Mr. FD. Dang. Uh, 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 uh. I feel like I should be apologizing for that FD driver for messing up my braking point. Come on. Yes, there you go. Goodbye, FD. Oh, look at that spoiler. It looks legit. Oh, I waited a little too long. Ow! 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 Don't do that! I'd appreciate it if you would lay off. Let's see if we can make this corner as clean as it was the last time. Uh, not quite. Not quite. It wasn't bad, but not quite. Let's see if we can get a little bit, little bit more out of it on the straight this time, because I feel like the last time I braked just a little bit early. Just a little bit. And time to break. Actually, I could have waited quite a bit longer. Surprisingly, I could have waited quite a bit longer. Oh, there goes. Oh, geez, it's getting twitchy. It's the final lap. I'm not going to try and mess around with the car at all. I'm not going to try and go for any like massive slides or anything because I don't want to lose this. It's one of my favorite tracks in one of my favorite cars, and I'm not going to give it up. No way. Yes, there we go. Really starting to feel this car out now. It takes off on the straights, though. When, it t when you get on the straights and that turbo kicks in, you take off. There we go. Oh, oh, not enough. Not enough time. Definitely not enough time. Locked up the brakes just a little bit, too. And there goes the tail end. Caught it, though. Caught it, though. No problem. Yeah, boot it out of the court. Well, I didn't really boot it. Gave it a little bit of throttle, but I didn't boot it. I saw the dude on my map, and I was like, nah, I think I'll lay off the throttle out of that corner exit. Oh yeah, every time I get on on the straight, my opponents, they just disappear. Completely disappear. 
Oh yeah, that's the line I wanted to take last time, but all the AI was blocking my way, so there was, there was no way I could have taken that corner like that the first time around. Here we go, sliding it around a little bit. Nice! Power to the finish, come on! That was a pretty epic race. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty fun race. That was a really, really fun race. I, I'm starting to get, to get used to the way the FT1 handles with the, uh, just trying to balance the understeer versus oversteer and just the overall characteristics, bleh, characteristics of the car. Um, I really, actually, really, really like it. Um, yeah, I did lock up my brakes that one time. Dang. My tires, they were, like, smoke's blowing everywhere. Nobody else is blowing smoke everywhere. Just me. Just me, the fool locking up his brakes. But, no, I'll get this car down um, as, far as, the, uh, as far as the driving techniques and stuff. I'll get it down, uh, no problem whatsoever, and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of GT6, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one, talk to you guys later.